you guys, Chelsea Briggs here, coming to you from VidCon 2014, joined by the lovely Bethany Moda. Hello! How's it going? Good, I'm having so much fun. I love VidCon. Yeah. I actually came to the first VidCon ever. So it's really cool for me to see like how much it's actually changed. Has it? Well, how much would you say it's changed? It's changed so much. <laughs> like, first of all, there's so much more people now than there was the first year, which is insane, and it's so great. Um, and I just love meeting all my viewers, and it's just a fun time. I, However, I only got one hour of sleep last no. night. No! But all the energy here is like keeping me alive. Totally. Well, you've been so busy. You've been traveling like everywhere lately. Yeah, a little bit. Where's been your favorite place so far? I don't think I have a favorite place. I mean, because they're all so great. Like, I went to Thailand recently, and then I went to Singapore for the second time. Um, Australia was really cool, Ooh. though. It was amazing. I really wanted to climb the Harbor Bridge but I didn't get Not. the chance to. I got on a seaplane though, which was really Ooh. fun. I almost backed out of it. I was like, guys, I'm feeling a little sick today because I was terrified, <laughs> but it was really cool. But it's gotta be so cool to see your fans right here. You put a face to these, these people that are so great. They're my best friends. And it's like really cool just to be able to meet them in person. Yeah, and I've talked to you about this before, but it's so crazy, you know, looking back on the first day you uploaded a video and now to where you are, how do you put that in words? About like the whole journey? Yes. I mean, it's kind of hard to put into words because the thing is, is when I created my YouTube channel, I didn't really think that anything would come out of it. Like I was, you know, just, kind of looking for an outlet and a place to express my opinions and I didn't think that that many people would actually care about my opinion. And they do! <laughs> so it's, it's so surprising and it, it's so surreal to me every single day. Yeah, and I think it's, it's so crazy too. I've been seeing you on commercials and billboards. That's a girl. Actually, I got to New York like a couple weeks ago and I got in the taxi cab and I heard my voice <laughs> and I started freaking out. I'm like, am I going insane? And it was on like one of the little TV. That, I feel like that's like a, okay, I've made it moment. It was it was kind very of. weird and very cool at the same yeah, time. Yeah, that's awesome. And obviously your clothing line, summer clothing line is yeah. out. How does it feel to see people wearing it? That's the coolest thing for me. Actually, when I launched the first line in December, there was a girl, I was shopping in the mall and I saw this girl wearing one of the sweaters. It was the little fox sweater. I literally followed the girl around for like <laughs> five minutes. So I was like, is that my sweater? Is it not? And then she started following me. No! Like, What's going on? And then she asked for a picture. So if you wear my clothing line, I might stalk you. So hey. just be aware. <laughs> well, you have a back to school clothing line coming out? I do. <gasps> Ooh. I'm really excited about it. It's like back to school fall collection. Okay. We actually just had the photo shoot like a couple weeks ago. Nice. And it looks so good. So I'm really excited about it. Is it like florals still too, or can you kind of There's a little just... there's a little bit of pattern. There'll always be florals yeah. with her, right? And sweaters <laughs> are my favorite. That's my favorite thing about falls. Like just let me wear sweaters all the time. How about like color palette with it? Can you tell us at all? Um, well, one of my favorite colors is burgundy, especially uh. for the fall time. Oh, yeah. So there's so much burgundy. Yay. Okay, so I need to f find out, because I hear you have a perfume coming out. I do. Look at it. Ah, yeah, there's so much news. Okay. So tell me all about it. It's with Aeropostale. Okay. And basically, they came to me and they said they wanted to create a fragrance, which I've always wanted to do that. Uh -huh. um, I was a little concerned at first, because I wanted to make sure that it's something that I really liked, because perfume is a really personal thing to me. Totally. Like, I cannot wear a perfume that I don't like. Absolutely. You know? Because people, you know, that's how they're going to, you know, remember me. Yeah. It's like, oh, you know, her scent. Her scent. How she smelled. Yep. Um, so I was a little nervous about that, but I had um, this amazing lady that I worked with, and we kind of went back and forth to find the perfect scent, and it's kind of sweet, but it's not too sweet. Okay. It's like a little flirty, and the bottle, like, I love the packaging. Can you Everything. tell us? Um, I don't Hint know. Hint it? Oh, it has to do with a heart. Okay. And you guys know I love bows. So, okay. and it has my favorite colors, which are gold and turquoise. What a weird thing, like going and actually like smelling the different things. Was that crazy? Because they were like, we'll put a little bit of spice in. Yeah, it's is funny it? because I've always dreamed of doing that. <laughs> like I used to watch all these videos about like creating fragrances uh -huh. and to actually be there and like, that's kind of what, they had like three sample ones and I got to smell all of them and they had these little cards that like described all the notes. Do you know when it's coming out? Um, I believe maybe August, July okay. or August. Ooh, all one right. of the two. Back, good Soon. to go back to school. Yes, yeah. awesome. Um, and I have to check up because last time we talked, you know, there was a little talk of Niall Horan possibly being your boyfriend sometime down the line and I still think I Nethany know. is a great couple name. I, I, I do too. So any update for me? He hasn't quite realized it yet. <laughs> I'm kind of waiting. 
I'm waiting, but it's it'll maybe. I just think it's meant to be. I do. But I don't know if he does though. Have you seen him in the past few months? No. 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 I think he's hiding from me. I, it's fine, Niall. I understand. N Niall, come on, come out of hiding. The time is now. Just accept it. <laughs> um, and Pretty Little Liars is back. I want to get your take. <gasps> don't even get me started. <laughs> I am so happy that Allie is back. <laughs> I feel a little scared though. Like I still don't trust her completely. Yeah. You know, she has to earn back her trust with me, and I feel like that's how it is with like all the other girls too. Yeah. I'm basically a part of the show. <laughs> I feel like I'm one of the you girls. You need to be a guest on the show. That would be my dream. And obviously you've accomplished so much at such a young age. What's, Thank you. What's next on your bucket list? Like what's something that you would love to do? Something fun that I really want to do. I want to go zip lining. Oh, nice. I've never, I mean, if you're going <laughs> to So ask, simple, I love it. That's I've never great. been zip lining. You gotta and do I it. think it'd be cool to do it in like a very exotic place. Catalina Island, I heard is a place, good place Ooh, to go for that. Maybe I'll try it. Meet you in Catalina, girl. Meet you and Catalina. Oh, we'll, we'll go do. together. <laughs> For you, what's your advice to maybe children who are being bullied or just, you know, th that deal with the daily high school, middle school, elementary school, day to day? Well, I think the thing about bullying is when you're being bullied, you feel like no one else kind of feels that way. Because I know when I was bullied, when I was 13, I just felt like no one was going through what I was going through. Yeah. No one understood me. And I feel like that's what causes people to close up a lot and not ask someone for help. And sometimes, you know, you should ask people for help because it can be so helpful. Like I, you know, opened up to my family and it made things yeah. so much better. So I would say just talk to someone, whether it's your sister or a family member or even just a really close friend. Totally. And also just try not to let it get to you. I know it's difficult, but there's a lot more positivity out there than negativity. You just have to focus on the positive. It's always so good to see you. You too. How awesome is she, you guys? <laughs> And thank you guys. And of course, you more more for VidCon 2014. Be sure to head to Hollywire.com and Hollywire TV, and we will see you later.